I mean, I think everybody's waiting to be entertained these days, right? And then the more you can kind of hit them where they are, uh, the better your chances of closing a sale. So we, we're working with a ton of folks in the home services industry. And the basic premise of what we do is we believe it's just wrong, that it's so hard to create an amazing presentation, share it with the people who need it, and then measure whether or not it's actually performing, giving you what you had invested that time and money in creating it for, right? So we, we help people build interactive presentations um, and then give them all the tools they need to make sure that they can get it very easily and always make sure they're up to date. And then in the back end, make sure sales managers, leadership have the ability to see how that content's being used with customers, you know, in the field, either in in the home or virtually, to make sure it's hitting the mark. We started our life as a company as the first app for the iPhone to do books. So way back before Apple had iBooks, we were the first app that was doing books on the on the iPhone. And what we really learned was that interactive um, experiences on mobile devices really captured people's attention. And fast forward to today, we've iterated many times throughout the company's life cycle. Uh, we're offering a software platform that helps anybody create those same interactive experiences. And because what we find is when you, you have very limited time with, with a homeowner, with the prospect in general, and if you can capture their attention and you can keep it, and you can be memorable, you're gonna be more likely to close more business. And we've really focused our efforts on enabling teams with the best tools to do that. You know, it's interesting, there's two ways to think about it. One is, can I give my sales team the same thing that they can present over and over and over again? So it's like the complete opposite of hyper-personalized. It's standard. It's I've trained on this presentation and I know my sales team is great at presenting it and it's consistent and it's every time. The other side of that is, are there opportunities to customize it so that when I walk into your home, I can swap in an image of the front of your home or I can swap in a couple of you know, before and after photos of projects specific to the type of, uh, you know, home service I'm going to be providing at that moment. So we, we allow for that obviously in our platform, right? Either the, Hey, I'm going to make everything locked down and consistent for every single sales rep all the way to completely customized, you know, every image, every video, every string of text could be customized for that individual client. We find that most people are doing the first, right? Which is I'm going to enable my sales team with a very consistent sales process locked into a presentation that is predictable, right? Because then we know if the sales rep goes through and does steps one through seven, they're going to execute extremely well. However, we've seen more interest in, hey, I really want the meat of my presentation to be consistent, but I want to bookend it with something that's really customized for that customer I'm going to see and then finish with maybe a proposal or a 3D rendering or something like that. So we offer both, right? So we have technology that allows you to weave all those things together in a consistent, coherent story while providing that, I'll call it the meat of the sandwich that is really focused on a consistent sales process with maybe a customized piece at the beginning, a customized piece at the end. And I use that as the simple, simple way of thinking about it, but the customization could be anywhere throughout. Everyone's coming in pitching. And the more you can speak to the language of the customer, the needs of the customer, the more you're going to have a chance for success. Um, the other thing that's driving it is our customer base is, is twofold right now. It's contractors who are doing the work and it's also the product manufacturers who are providing the contractors with great materials. So we have several big manufacturers who are using and building content on Engage and providing it to those contractors. Well, they want the, when, when the contractor gets it, they want to customize, but the manufacturer says, no, I want you to have the consistent message about my product. So the customization comes in where the contractor has their own about us, their own company story, their own services we render, presentation or option that can be, you know, the, be the bookends of what I talked about earlier, right? They could be the bread to the meat of the manufacturer presentation. I know I don't look like it, but I have 35 years experience in construction, including a degree from Wentworth in construction management. Start to finish was started right after I finished school. 
I spec True Exterior products because they last the longest and they are probably the most durable products that I can hand off to my homeowner. So we're gonna talk about the three products. The first is the exterior trim. Obviously it's, it's your typical one by, also five quarter available which we used on our windows. Another product is our V-Groove soffits, which we do a lot of times for deck ceilings, porch ceilings. And then our biggest thing was our nickel gap siding, which is smooth side out. And you can see how important it is that the milling is done correctly because in this case, there's no corner boards. So our reveal lines wrap the corner. The maintenance of the house after we leave is really important. As far as painting goes, I'm seeing the painting last longer on this product than typical wood products. Uh, where there's no rot, twisting, warping, definitely superior to wood products. I love it when the customer says, you've built us a beautiful home. Yeah, I, th I think one of the people have a real good mental model around the in-home presentation, right? But there's a lot of other ways that you can really influence the buyer journey, whether that's a great introduction before you show up. Hey, I'm coming to your home to you know, spend two hours with you to talk about your project, here's what to expect. So we have some folks who are using a presentation, but it's really an intro piece, right? Which is a one page presentation with some great interactivity on it to really set the stage to what's happening. There's the, I call it the digital leave behind. I'm not sure that that term will, will catch on or not, but right, I've been in your home. I'm not gonna send you the full presentation, but maybe I'll send you a summary, which is a couple, two or three pages, which says, here's the great things we talked about. And so there's lots of different uses of presentation that aren't necessarily that I'm gonna sit and present to you that we're finding people are using Engage for. Uh, it could be everything from that, you know, appointment confirmation template to training the, the homeowner on how to maintain and, um, you know, use the um, use the thing that was installed. Like, hey, here's how you use the garage door. Here's how you maintain the windows. Um, also on the sales training side. So looking at sales training as a as a, a huge lever that a sales team can can pull in order to raise their ability in the home. This is a technology thing um, that we get a lot of requests for, which is. Because what a lot of folks do is they use Engage on an iPad in the home, primarily because all the content is downloaded so they don't have to worry about having an internet connection. So it's like a real tactical reason. But what they find is when they slide the iPad over to the homeowner and let them drive the presentation, they get a lot more interactivity, a lot more interaction with the customer because they're driving the interactivity. Now it's a self-guided thing. The sales team member has to really understand what that presentation does and how to drive them through it and how to use, we, we use the term progressive disclosure within the presentation. And so all the interactive elements allow you to tell a story and guiding that homeowner through the process of progressively disclosing the information at the right time when you wanna drop that knowledge on them is pretty important. But the, the key thing is having them drive a little bit. So we're looking at ways to make that an even better uh, process for the sales team member. But right now, just sliding that iPad across the table and letting them drive, it's just a simple thing that really gets them engaged in the presentation. There's been a shift to virtual, right, in the world that we live in. And what we're finding is more presentations, more initial meetings are being done virtually. And what that's doing is qualifying someone in or out in order to spend the expensive resource of someone getting in their car, driving across town or two, three, four towns over, you know, to meet with someone in their home. They're finding that the buyer is farther down the, the journey with them um, so that they're using that virtual to kind of set up a much better in-home meeting, right? So I don't know if it specifically answers it, but that's what we're seeing, right? Some combination or hybrid of, hey, let's let's do some qualification virtually and use maybe a different presentation um, that I can share with that homeowner and then know, are they really interested? So, a, you know, technical little detail, we can tell if you send a copy of a presentation on one, whether or not they viewed it again. So it's a great tool to know and say, hey, you know, we met virtually, it was a 30 minute introduction, quick kickoff, assessed whether the customer was really interested in us coming and spending more time. Yes, they have budget for the pro whatever the qualification questions are. Send them a version of that presentation, see if they ever go back into it, right? Now, you know, going in the home, hey, 
The Smiths spent 45 minutes looking through that 10 page overview presentation. The majority of the time on pages four and five, whatever those happen to be, you know, they're really interested in the history of the company. They're really interested in windows more than doors. So now you can tailor that experience in the home much better once you have that insight. What I like to say is people come for the presentations, but they stay for the analytics, right? It's, they, we can help people create amazing experiences for the customer in the home. But when you really start to dig into the insights behind the scenes of saying, hey, I have 10 sales reps and I know that, you know, Sally is amazing and she's closing deals at a percent at a real good rate. And then <clears throat> Dean, I'm using my because I don't want to offend anybody, right? Dean's not doing great. And, you know, his close rate is 50% of what Sally's is. And you're like, well, what, what is that? Well, one of the factors could be the, the ability to deliver a great presentation in the home. And we can give someone the analytics to say, all right, let's compare Sally and Dean and how they deliver the presentation. Just analytics, just straight up looking at the data. Hey, you know, Sally spends this much time in section two. Dean, you're not spending that time. You're not building the value up front. You're jumping right to the product. You know, whatever that conversation is, it just drives a great conversation with the sales team to really coach them and enable them. Because remember that education process of the customer is critical. People don't do these projects every day, right? So if you can enable your team with better data, right? Or use data to enable your team with better selling methods, it could be really, really helpful.